guys, this is Pokey Gal here. I didn't want to make this video just yet. I wanted to continue uh, sorting my book, but I've been seeing a lot of bad sellers on YouTube and on eBay. Um, I want to make this video. I want to help out the community. I've been collecting Pokemon cards for 20 years, you guys. I'm the original OG. Like, you guys see my binders? That's just a small, small portion of what I have collected. And, um, basically just hoard <laughs> over the 20 years so i've seen the prices going up i've seen the prices going down here let me show you guys quick this is just a small portion of my seal collection okay i have more in my storage but anyways just real quick just this is just my desk i gotta move uh my phone okay look at all these boxes that i have Anyways, that's just a quick glimpse. I have all the sealed booster boxes, okay? Um, maybe the only one I don't have is the Shadowless uh, base booster box. But anyways, the first edition one. But let's get this going. And again, it's stop getting ripped off of my Pokemon cards. I have been seeing people... Just giving outrageous prices. You know, I'm really happy that the Pokemon community is getting a lot of members. I, that's great, right? Because it increased the value of your Pokemon cards. It increased just basically the popularity of the Pokemon community. But people, please, if you are new to the community, do your research, okay? Do it. Do your research. Just because somebody on YouTube or somebody on eBay list a card. I can list this card. Okay. For $300, all right? I can tell you this card's going to worth be worth $300 in 5, 20 years. How do you know? How do you know? All right? Do your research. I can list this card for $200. Go on eBay, join a Facebook group, ask the community, is this card worth $200? Okay, just do your research. If I'm the one that's saying the Japanese uh, market's going to go up, how do you know? Okay, do your research. Just, you know, I get so frustrated when somebody overpriced their cards. All right, I, that's, it's irritating to me. And not only that, when somebody overpriced their card and somebody with a new, um, I'm sorry, with somebody that's new to the community that doesn't know what the price really is worth and they don't go check, they just rely on eBay and they don't go ask other people that have been collecting for a long time or they don't go to eBay sold listing, they would really overprice the card. They would really think that card is worth that price. And not only that, it hurts you and it hurts the Pokemon community, right? Because people are going to think that the card that they bought is worth that value for what they bought it for. And then later on, a couple of times, not a couple of times, but maybe months later, years later, they try to resell the card. And guess what? They don't have that investment or that investment is negative or even equals out. Be smart, people. Do your due diligence when it comes to collecting Pokemon cards, okay? Do your due diligence. Just because somebody said that card is going to be worth that much, what they're selling it for, don't just jump on the boat and buy it. I know I sound very frustrated because I am. This is what I have been seeing. And it's so sad that Eventually, these couple of people have reached out to me, and I have talked to at least 10 people. Yeah, you guys. In this past week, 10 people have reached out to me and says, oh my God, I overpaid for this card. I overpaid for this pack of cards. And I go, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do all of this stuff, but people are buying old fossil packs, old Neil packs for a hundred dollars, a hundred fifty dollars, three hundred seventy five dollars. When they go on eBay, oh, I can even check out right now. Okay, they can go on eBay 
And those pa packs are like $45, $60. And they're paying $375, $150 for these packs, right? And these packs have guaranteed hollows. So, I mean, they can't be weighed. I, I mean, I get it. I get it. You, It's fun. It's fun to pull cards online. It's fun to pull cards live. But you got to be smart. You are spending money on something that's you think that's an investment that's probably if you overspend on that card originally that's not an investment that's you just basically throwing your money to the seller while he pockets the profit and you got you and people are getting screwed okay i mean it's just so sad to see the people doing that and if you are overpaying for cards right Sell, keep your bulk, people. Keep your bulk. Hey, look at all the books I have. And the more, and you know, I'll tell you guys something. Okay? These bulk, they will add up. The more that you buy, they will add up. And you can trade your bulk for, it's. I believe it's 21 was it 2100 to 2100 cards of common cards for a booster box and reverses are like worth 15 cents so they're not even really 2100 keep your bulk it will add up i get it you have to do the shipping you have to mail it out but that's going to cost you $25 for a flat rate USPS box but you are getting a $100 booster box okay for like $25 maximum. If you're really overpriced. Shipping. The bulking. And everything else. If you want to know. Let me. Contact me. I know people that do the bulk. I. I know people that do the bulk. And they have great reputation. And I will let you know. The. I. You know. And another thing people have been telling me. I, oh. It's. The fun. It's. It's fun. It's. The live stream. That is. Is basically you know, um, getting me to pay all this price, but you are throwing your money away. What's going on in this world right now? You guys need to save your money. Okay. You guys need to invest smartly, right? I know it's such a sensitive subject and I get it. It is your money but everybody that i have talked to have one common purpose the common purpose is to invest in pokemon cards thinking that their cards will go up in price they want to give these cards to their kids their generations you know and i do too i do too you know i do too and when we work together as a community in a collective thought that we have as in we need to spend money smart we need to make sure we do our due diligence when collecting pokemon cards and spending pokemon cards and not throwing your money out to these bad sellers that are ripping you off that's when we can stop the high price market and stop these bad sellers from ripping you off and everybody else that's coming to the new community right i honestly i don't get it i don't get why new pokemon collectors are not doing their due diligence i honestly do not get it honestly some i witness someone buying a common growthlith does a common cards I'm sorry, guys. I might get a little bit of the hiccups. Yeah, right here. I witnessed someone buying a common Growlithe, this card, for $2 a piece. And it was a damage card. And this card for $5. I, I, uh, TCG player listed that card as like 30 cents. And it's so sad because these people are getting taken advantage of. And I'm not going to name any of the bad seller on my YouTube channel because that's just not how I am. But I, what I can do, and that's just my contribution to the Pokemon community, 
is to make videos like this. Is this ever gonna go viral? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this ever gonna go viral? Probably not. But I guarantee you, it's going to stop somebody. And I have talked to so many people that have reached out to me and thanked me and said, "You know what? You're right. I've been screwing up. I've been doing all this stuff, and you're you're right. You know, like I have been over." overpaying for these cards that bring me no significant value and by the time that I make up for the money that I overpaid in my investment years later I just don't want the community to go downhill when they're buying cards that are not worth as much thinking their investment in the downhill they don't get the money back and it hurts them and that it hurts me to see that um <laughs> Invest smartly, people. It's just do your due diligence. That's I know I said that like five times already, but it just seems like people are not doing that. Um, and I, I'm, I'm here. You know, I've been collecting for twenty years. I'm here. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to, you know, at. I'm here to. Guide. I think that's the right word, and I have been guiding these people on where to buy uh, cards and where to properly invest and what I think is worth investing. So, um, I apologize for just going on a quick tangent. It was totally impromptu. I did nothing scripted. This is just how I feel uh, being somebody that's been in this community for 20 years and I have built and I have uh, connected on many relationships with a lot of people that collected Pokemon cards. Um, I have talked with Laughing, Laughing Pikachu, the cat meows. I work with people that have stores, that own stores. Um, you know, we have great friendship and we and we just realize this is what's been going on with the community. Um, what's been going on so far. And um, be smart, people. And another thing I want to say before I end this call, uh, not this call, this video, is that don't listen when someone says, oh, the best way to invest is just to keep opening packs. Just no. No. No, no. That is the fastest way that you throw away your money. Your hard-earned money during this time. Okay. I, I I will be I will make an example. Okay, sorry, it's an it's just a video that I was not prepared. Alright. I will And by the way, you guys, talk about investing. I have over 800 of these generation booster packs. They're just sitting around. Like, I just have tons of that. I just, uh, tons of that. I have tons of Hidden Fates. I have tons of Shiny Legends. I just, I hoard, I just, I hoard. I just, you know, I, I do collect. And I just, I'm just reading some packs of it. Look, at tons of packs that I have. But... Okay, so these packs, someone was selling them for like $9, all right? And the person that was saying, one of the bad sellers was saying, keep opening these packs. Keep opening. Pull that Mewtwo. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just my really high voice. Keep pulling these packs. Pull that Mewtwo. Pull that um, shiny rare Mewtwo. $9 a pack, all right? <sighs> Um, let me just um, do a real quick. This is just eBay, okay? You guys can even. You, there's even better ways to get the cards that you want. But I'm just going through eBay because that's universal and people know uh, eBay pretty well. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> one of the chase cards, one of the cards in Shiny Legends is the Shiny Mewtwo number 72 Full Art Hollow. 
right? You can pull 10 of these freaking packs and still not get that card that you want. And on eBay, it's going for $50 or best offer. I'm pretty sure if I put $45 in free shipping, the seller will accept that. Think about it. You can pull over 10 plus packs of these cards at $10 a piece of what the seller was selling for. Or you can just one click $45. Save your money, people. Save your money. Even the rainbow rare. And let's look at the sold listing, okay? Just because someone puts $150 up there doesn't mean the card is worth $150. That's just somebody arbitrarily think it's worth $50, okay? So the last listing for the shiny Mewtwo is $170. And that pull rate for that shiny Mewtwo is super low. 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 Why, right? Just, I've been seeing all these videos, doing these pull rates and they're low save up be smart rather than just continually pulling that's okay so someone sold it for 170 and there these packs apparently that person was selling nine dollars so that's 17 packs around 17 packs of these that you're going to pull to get a jet mint and you're probably not even going to get a jet mint you can pull 20 of these packs, not even guaranteed to get a gem mint rainbow rare Mewtwo. Be, I mean, and there's people out there that are spending so much money because this seller is saying, pull these packs, pull these packs. It's a chase, it's a chase. But you want to know what? That money is going towards that seller's profit. That's it. That seller is going to use that money to buy cars for his own collection. And you're going to be stuck with nothing. Use that money. You, if you really want that card, go on the hunt for it. Bargain for it, right? Look for it. Craigslist, Facebook listing. Even go to Facebook uh, Pokemon card website. Ask for somebody. And the chances of you getting a Jet Mint PSA 10 for, for less than what you originally will eventually pull and getting it graded is significantly vastly higher um that's just my rant rant uh and i've been seeing this and it hurts it really does you guys it does and if when you buy from a third party seller right these packs i got um okay so let's do an example I got these Hidden Fates pack. This is back then. I got them for $2 a piece, right? Because I know sellers, so I know what to do. I know what how to connect with people. But now I would say they're about $6, right? And they're also doing a second set of prints on May 28th. So the packs will eventually go down. But let's say they're about $6 now, right? So I will get them for $6. As a third-party reseller, I'm not going to sell them for $6. I ain't going to profit for that. So I'm going to sell them for $13 or maybe $15. Why do you want to buy from a third-party reseller? Buy from the $6 from the self, which is the other store seller. And you can do this. Buy it on eBay. Go to um, Pokemon Card. Go to the card on uh, Facebook. There's so many sellers. One of my good friends uh, bought a bunch of these packs for $4.25. And he bought about 30 packs. And it's sitting in a sealed collection right now. You know, I get it. I get you want to pull the card and stream. I do. But you're just throwing away money. That's not how it is. Be smart with your investment. Be smart with your stimulus money. Okay. Be, be smart with it. You don't want to use that money to throw it out to somebody so they can buy high-end cards to rip you off later in the future. Because you think about it, it's all a network. It's We're all united. And this is just one whole community. If one person overpays for one card, it's going to hurt all of it. It's like a chain. All right, guys, I'm done. This is enough for the rat. Um, but... Eventually, if you guys do subscribe to my channel, I will show all of my Pokemon card collection. I do care for all of you guys. I welcome questions. I um, 
I answer them. I answer at least 15 questions a day, and I just have a small network of followers. Uh, you know, I, I don't care how big it is. I want to help people out. I do. Um, at my morning job, I do the legal field, but I'm not going to disclose what I do exactly. But just know that um, um, that's what I do, and I just want to help people out, okay? The morning job, I can't really answer questions, but afternoon when I have free time like today, I just answer a bunch of questions. Take care, guys. Be smart with your investment. Be smart, okay? And, uh, of course, stay healthy. And take care. I might do a second video of my uh, book. But other than that, be smart and stay healthy.